Hey everybody, I'm excited about today's video. Three months ago, Larry made a video for the BBBE challenge. It was the mind blowing results video. And at the end of the video, Larry broke a 48 hour fast with my delicious cast iron chuck roast. And ever since that video, I've had dozens of people reach out to me requesting the recipe. It only has three ingredients, chuck, salt, and water. And today I'm going to take those three simple ingredients and show you how to turn it into amazing. Welcome back to Carnivore Quest. My name is Cassie. My husband Larry and I are attempting to lose over 200 pounds eating the carnivore diet. As I said earlier, I'm excited to make this video. So let's jump into the recipe. You need a three to four pound chuck roast, three cups of water, and a generous amount of salt. And what makes this recipe so special is a cast iron pan seasoned with bacon grease. One thing I love about chuck roast, it's a relatively inexpensive cut of meat, but when you make it this way, It'll taste like a million dollars and it's perfect for any low carb diet or for the BBBE challenge. And that's basically how we had discovered it. We've cooked chuck roast in a crock pot before. We've even done an instant pot with just salt and water because as you know, the BBBE challenge only allows beef, butter, bacon, eggs, and salt. To be honest, whenever we had them in the crock pot or the instant pot, they just turned out a little bland. And then I started cooking it this way. Boy, what a game changer. And now it's one of our favorite meals. Really, it's about the only meal that I'll heat up our kitchen for during the summer. My two Larrys got me the cast iron pans about five years ago for Mother's Day. I'd always wanted a set, and it's a trio. I just cherish them, and it just has made every single meal so much better. I didn't think I was going to be able to use them on a glass top stove, but I did some research, and I found that I could. You just have to be careful with them. Just set them down gently, and definitely don't drop them. You could crack the glass top. So do Italians uh, cook chuck roast? Italians cook it all. Oh, okay. They're going to make you eat. Are you hungry? Yeah, hey, we got the chuck roast for you. You're going to eat. Manja, manja. So you're going to want to heat up your cast iron slowly. Start with a low setting, and then over the next few minutes, and gradually increase it. You're going to want to finish it off at a high setting. Also, set your oven to 350 degrees. We're just going to salt this liberally while the uh, pan is heating and the oven is heating up. Make sure you salt both sides. This is a workout. Good thing I'm on carnivore. All right, y'all, this is what you want to see. You want that pan screaming hot. You're going to sear it first. I love the sizzle. And if you have a vent, you better turn it on. You're going to want to get a nice sear on each side. You're going to want to do about two minutes per side. All that crust, that's the salt crusting up and just the meat. It's going to seal in all those juices. Okay. So you get the sides to try and seal every every surface. All right, that's pretty good. And all right, turn off your burner. So this pan is very hot. Um, you want to pull it off the heat and let it rest for a few minutes because if you don't, the water's going to boil over and you're going to burn yourself. I let the pan cool down for about two minutes. We're going to go ahead and add the water. Let's go boil a little bit. Can you hear me now? All this water sitting in the cast iron with the delicious fatty chuck roast, that is going to be one gorgeous au jus. The last step before you put it in the oven, you're going to want to cover it. What makes this cooking method different than a crock pot or an instant pot is the instant pot and the crock pot seal everything in. So it basically steams the meat. By loosely covering it, it allows some of the steam to escape. We're high tech here at Carnivore Quest. We got two options, aluminum foil or a pizza pan. We're going to put this in the oven for about three hours. I check it after about two. So we'll see you then. Okay, it's been in the oven about two hours. I'm just gonna check on it. Oh, it smells so good already. So we're just looking for pork tender. Oh yeah, we're close. About another 45 minutes.
Is it fork tender? Yep, there it goes. So if you have any of this as you left, save it. We like to dip our steaks in there and ground beef. You can always add water to it. But this stuff is amazing. And this will help keep you on track. Who's ready for leftovers? We made our chuck roast in the 14 inch pan. I'm using the 10 inch to reheat some of our chuck roast. The au jus is very rich. So I added a quarter cup of water just to thin it out a little bit and make it stretch. And this looks about done. Let's see how Larry likes it. I mentioned in previous videos that smush burgers are one of my favorite things on BBBE challenge, but this is my absolute favorite. You can use the au jus for steaks, dip your burger patties in. It's amazing. You're going to love it. I hope you like this chuck roast as much as Larry and I do. If this roast looks delicious to you, hit the like button for me. And if you do make it, let me know in the comments what you think. If you're new to our channel, make sure you subscribe to root Larry and I on as we're losing over 250 pounds eating the carnivore diet. You can always follow us on our Facebook group. It's the Carnivore Quest community. There's also a women's group, Carnivore Quest for Women. And we're also on Instagram at carnivore.quest. Simply put, cast iron makes everything better. If you're interested to learn about the pans that I cook with, the link's in the description below. Again, everybody, thank you so much for giving me a few minutes of your day. Remember, no sugar, no carbs, and no cheating.